This is not financial advice, but I hope you brought your oven mitts, baby. And don't invest in the companies that you don't understand and don't believe in, because if they dip, you are not gonna buy the dip. And then you are gonna sell low and be right back here crying to me, and I'm not having that. So if you can't handle the heat of these hot stocks, then stay out of the kitchen and consider investing in the index funds. Now let's get straight to the point. Subscribe to the channel. First banger on the list is Synsonix, ticker symbol S-E-N-S. -E and you gotta pay attention to this one, baby. I loaded this one up with all kinds of stocks that got catalysts and good news coming up so let's talk about it and we got into this one when it was in the one dollar range so hit the patreon link so you can be up on the plays as soon as we are and hit the weeble link so you can stop thinking the stock market close at six and you can stop thinking the stock market close at four so now people been asking me is it too late to get into this one because if you got in at one why are you bringing it up if it already ran up now you say stuff like this because you cannot see the forest because you're too busy looking at the trees. You gotta see the whole picture. You gotta see the large picture. So now, let's talk about it. On February 25th, Synsonics will participate in a global healthcare conference, and they're gonna post this webcast to their investor relations section on their website. This is February 25th, if I didn't say that. So why is this important? Because they're waiting for FDA approval, like we already knew, for their next product, which lasts two times longer than their current glucose monitoring system. And now we're finally going to get a new update on how this is going. Now, this could be a catalyst that make more and more and more investors interested in the company. So how do we play this one? Since it's already ran up a lot and it has more chance to even run up way past this. So now, but it won't happen overnight. But this is how we're going to play this one. And we're going to use Strike prices aka if i see a price i like i strike so i'm gonna use 300 dollars as an example like i always do you could use whatever number you want just break it into thirds don't drive into it head first into the wall like a crash test dummy with no plan you need a plan so if i got 300 dollars, i'm putting a third of that on each strike price first strike price is this it's between right now and 380 preferably 380 i'm putting my first hundred on that bow and then if i see it hit 360 i'm putting my next hundred on that bow bow and then if i see it pull all the way back to three dollars you may never see it pull back to 360 you may never see it pull back to three but you want to be prepared not surprised you want to be what prepared not surprised what are the five p's proper preparation prevents poor performance say it with me again proper preparation prevents poor performance you want to be prepared not surprised so if i see it pull all the way back to three dollars i'm putting my last hundred on that bow, bow, bow. and where am i riding this wave out to I'm riding this wave straight to the promised land, baby. I see you there. And when are we getting out of this one? At a minimum, you got to consider putting your stop loss on it. Not enough that it'll kick you out due to volatility, but it'll protect your original investment. So now, and then also the FDA approval leading up to that, you could consider taking profits close to it or right after it. So now, next bringer on the list is NEO, ticker symbol NIO. And on February 12th at 3.30 p.m., Investor Place posted an article and they updated us and they said this, if NEO is able to get to $80 a share, they're gonna become the third largest automaker in the entire world, top three, right behind Tesla, right behind Toyota. Now, that's important. Why is that important? Because up to this point, NEO has only sold SUVs and they only sold SUVs in China. So they've been limited in that way and they already worked their way up to getting to number five and they're headed to number three. Now, let's keep in mind that you're probably asking yourself this, what happened to the sedan? What happened to the sedan that they released on NEO Day? They're gonna start delivering that sedan in Q1, 2022. Why is that important? Because all of these delivery records that NEO's been breaking lately, this does not even account for one single sedan. So imagine what that door opens up. So now, let's talk about this. I always tell you, if you wanna be a billionaire, you gotta think like one. You gotta think like one. And what are the big dogs doing? In the last two trading days, nearly 10 large institutions are on file and they couldn't handle the heat and they got up out of the kitchen, they sold their NEO shares. Now that might sound alarming, but let's compare it to who bought and how much. Now, 200 large institutions are on file in that same time frame to have loaded up on NEO shares. And keep in mind, the ones that are in green are the ones who loaded up for the first time. And if you go on this website, you'll see all of them listed by name, including Vanguard and Berkshire Capital Holdings. And every single company, again, highlighted in green is people who bought in for the very first time. How do we play this one? No strike price, no strike days. NEO is a company that we strike to own a specific amount of shares. For example, strike to own between 10 and 100 shares of this company. None of this is financial advice. Now, I want you to do your own research. So then when do we get out of this one? You cannot get out of this one in this decade. You gotta hold on to this one for 10 years, 20 years, because they're projected to go between 70 and 100 
this year, but in the next few years, they're expected to go like five years from now to at least or around $400 a share. So now, now let's get to the next one. I told you, I will update you on this one if they had an upcoming event or catalyst. T2 Biosystems, ticker symbol TTOO. Now this company is a specialist in in vitro diagnostics. And on February 19th, they will participate in the diagnostics conference for digital health and life science. And they announced that they can accurately detect a Brazilian strain of the pandemic. And we already covered that, but now they can let us know more information and this might drive new investors and interest into the company. And outside of that, they have the only two diagnostic tools for testing for sepsis and they are FDA approved already. Now, what is that? For those who don't know, it's basically a bacterial or fungal infection in the blood that can shut down your organs or just straight up kill you right off the bat. So now Wall Street, I want you to be just cognizant of this. Wall Street gave this a price target of 350 and it already blew past that and it came right back down. So people and investors could be reacting to the fact that this is the price target. So I want you to put this on your watch list and let's see how this one plays out rolling up to this conference. Okay, next banger on the list, this one is huge. You gotta be having this one on your mind or at least in the front of your portfolio on the top of the watch list if you're not already in the play for this upcoming week. Churchill Capital Corp, ticker symbol CCIV. And again, we got in this one when it was $16 and it already ran all the way up to $39. And a lot of people are asking, is it too late to buy this one? Why are you talking about this one and it already ran? The only reason you would say something like that is because you do not see the potential and you think $39 is the max potential for Lucid Motors if this goes through, you're crazy, you're crazy. Because if this goes through, and this is why I wanna just be clear on this, don't invest money into this that you're not willing to lose. Because if this doesn't go through, this is going straight back down to $10 a share. But if it does go through, this thing is going way past $39. So now, this is a high risk, high reward play. Let's be clear on that. And let's see, what are the big dogs doing? Cause they might have information that you and I don't have. In the last three trading days alone, over 50 large institutions are on file for purchasing shares and all of the green highlighted ones. If you go to the website, all of the green highlighted ones are just institutions who bought for the first time. So now, let's do a quick recap and see who this company is. A real quick recap. On Friday, February 12th, CNBC posted an article and they gave us the first look at Lucid Motors factory in Arizona. And they said that they're gonna increase the production capacity of their vehicles from 34,000 vehicles in a year to nearly 100,000 vehicles in a year. And then in two years from now, they're gonna take that all the way up to 400,000 vehicles in a year. And let's put that into perspective. Tesla, just in 2020, they just recently got close to 500,000 vehicles a year after the whole time they've been in business. Now, how do we play this one? We gotta play this one a little bit special compared to the other ones. So how do we play this one? This one, no strike price. This one, no strike days. You actually got a strike to own, but this is a risky one. This is a risky one because you want to own a specific amount of Lucid Motor shares and we gotta go through CCIV to get there and there's no proof or confirmation yet. There's a lot of evidence to suggest that it is gonna happen. However, it's not written in stone. So only put money into this that you're willing to lose. And then let's say you got $400 or even $4,000 strike to own as many shares as you can get with that. And think of a specific number in your head, but you gotta be saying this, I'm willing to lose this amount of money because I'm willing to risk this to get in on Lucid Motors early, right out the gate. When do you let go of this one? You gotta put your trailer stop loss on this one. Put your trailing stop loss on this one so it won't kick you out due to volatility, but it will protect some of your original investment if a sell-off happens out of nowhere, like a flash sell-off. And then if it gets confirmed, then we gotta double down. We gotta triple down and get in on Lucid Motors just straight out of the gate. So now, bonus, we got a bonus, and it's Apple, ticker symbol AAPL. And why is Apple on the list? You gotta keep your eye on Apple this week. Why? Because they're still looking for a manufacturing partner for their new autonomous EV car that they got basically in the works. So I want you to see this. Yesterday on February 14th, Nissan announced that they are not in talks with Apple about the autonomous car. Why is that important? Because basically all of these automaker and manufacturing companies, they're getting pressed and the press is basically on their back trying to find out who was Apple partnering with. So there's a lot of interest in this Apple autonomous car. You want to get in way before we find out if or if not this person or this company or whatever is gonna be the partner. You wanna get in way before that. So how do you play this one? You gotta play this one, no strike prices. 
no strike days. This is Apple, you strike to own. So strike to own between 10 and 100 shares of Apple, maybe even 10 and 1,000 shares of Apple, and let it just sit in your corner like a big dog and keep you in the green when your hot stocks is down. And when do you, when do you exit Apple? We getting out as soon as they stop selling electronics. You already know what time it is. And let's get to the comment of the day. Now this one is a specific question with specific answers. And it's from my guy Clint, and he said this, what platform can I buy HCMC off of? And I wanted to highlight this question because a lot of you had the same question. In a previous video, I was talking about a company called Healthier Choices Management Corp, ticker symbol HCMC, and a lot of you had trouble buying it or even finding where to buy it. So this is where you buy it. Keep in mind, before I even tell you, only put money into this that you're willing to lose. This is an extremely speculative play. However, it's running up, and a lot of people are interested in this because it is a sub-penny stock, meaning it's even lower than a penny currently. So now, you need a broker that you can trade over the counter the stocks with. For example, like Trading 22, if I'm not mistaken, Fidelity, E-Trade, or even TD Ameritrade, you need many, many, many different brokers like that. So, other than that, what I want you to do is hit the Patreon link so you can be up on the plays as soon as we are, and hit the Weeble link so you can stop thinking the stock market is closed at four, and if you can't handle the heat of these hot stocks, then stay out of the kitchen and consider investing in the index funds. I love y'all. Take care.